Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth video in the series and this time we're going to be talking about the insert edge loop tool so um, <clears throat> under the edit mesh menu which is also under the polygons menu set um, we have another option another tool which is called the insert edge loop tool um, now as you may have noticed so far whenever you click on the options box which is basically this little box here right next to um, sound actions um, you get a little box that pops up um, in our case, because this is a tool, our option box popped up to the right, um, the left side of the screen. Sorry, and you can actually change the settings for this tool. Um, you can press the X button to remove this option. Um, but in other cases, like something like the extrude, which isn't necessarily a tool, when you press the options button, you get this pop-up window, which some of the same options that you have, like offset, thickness, and divisions that we talked about in the last video, you can just change it here from the get-go. So this kind of gives you an idea of what you actually get in the history. Um, these same options that you can do from the beginning of making the object or doing the action, you still get them later on. So you can always do something and change it later. Alright, so because this is a tool, think about it as if it's our move tool our, or our rotate or scale tool. Um, our cursor actually changes so we can see here it looks different and we can also see that we, we was in object mode we know we're in object mode when um, I press W to get our move manipulator when everything is green now if we go to edit mesh and we go to insert edge loop tool here it is we can see um, we're now switching to our component mode, which is basically one of the three options of editing our vertices, our faces, or our edges. Um, everything turns blue. Right, and our cursor changes. So it's telling us right here to click, drag on edges. So right now we're in edges mode because we're working with our edges. So with this tool, this basically allows you to put in your own edges. So <clears throat> say you wanted to extrude a square Say you wanted to have a hollow square in the center of this bar right here. Alright, so we know that we can do that with extrude, but what we need first is a square here so we can just push it in. So I'm going to just click, and before I let go, I'm just going to move it where I want it to be. And once I let go, I've actually added edges. Alright, now obviously the more edges you have, the more detail you, you can possibly have to your model, but it's the more... Um, it's the more you're going to have to actually work with geometry and move things around. So it's kind of a catch-22. When you're modeling things, you want to keep as least amount of lines as possible. Only put what you need. All right. So now we have our square. I'm going to right-click, go to Faces, select this face, and now I can extrude this in, and I can get my hollow square. And now when I go to Object Mode, here I go. So that's just another quick tool, the insert edge loop tool. You can add edges. It can kind of help you customize your object so you can get your own look. All right. In the next video, we're going to talk about merging.